Hey guys, welcome to another episode of the Wasatch Gear Review. Today we're going to be going over darn tough Vermont hiking and trekking socks. Guys, I've been using these for probably eight months, maybe a little less, seven months now. And these are the best socks, period, that I have ever used for any kind of trekking or hiking. I've used a number of different socks now and darn tough guys take the cake in my opinion uh, these are high high quality made here in the USA um, I can't find one bad thing to say about these so uh, why don't you guys sit back and relax get yourself something to drink and we'll dig into them now So guys, here's the pair of socks. I will set one down, and we're just going to take a look at one of the pairs. Guys, these are made out of 61% merino wool, 37% nylon, and 2% lycra, which is basically like a spandex. Now, I don't know if you guys know anything about merino wool. It is one of the most top-notch uh, wools you can get on the market, one of the most expensive wools you can get on the market. Um, it is um, micro or antimicrobial. That's a hard one to say. Antimicrobial. Um, so this sock and, and merino wool is naturally uh, antimicrobial which basically means that it repels bacteria and odors naturally. So for a sock, that's pretty sweet. It also dries quicker um, and is warmer than any other wool out there, merino wool. So guys, the actual name for these are called Darn Tough Socks uh, or Darn, Darn Tough Vermonts. These are the Hiker Quarter Sock cushioned. Now underneath from from midway up on the top of your foot it's thin and airy and underneath here you can feel the cushioned part of the sock which is a bit thicker. Now these fit really really not really really tight but I guess really tight. Um, and what that does is it, it doesn't allow for any moving around on your foot, bunching up uh, in spots on your foot, which will end up uh, creating hot spots and blisters. So that's a really good aspect. The other awesome feature about the Darn Tufts, if you turn them inside out, and if you guys look on the top where the toe is stitched in here, now if you look on a regular sock, and I wish I had a regular sock out here to show you, these stitches along here and along the sides stick out. And you'll have the big uh, knots where they tie the stitching off. And if you're doing a lot of hiking, and a lot of walking, that is going to wind up rubbing a hot spot or a blister into your foot. Guys, Darn Tough has come up with this inside out stitching. Where I don't know if you guys can see that well. There, it, the stitch actually goes down into the sock, not out to where it's going to be rubbing on your foot. Um, the other great uh, thing about these guys is they are lifetime warranty. I don't know any other sock maker, and maybe I just haven't done enough research, but they give 100% lifetime guarantee. If you can wear a hole in these things, they will replace them for the rest of your life. Now yes, these are about 18 or 17 bucks a pair, and then they go on up from there to about 25, I think, bucks a pair. But for the quality you're getting in the sock, 
in the manufacturing process. It is made in the USA. You know, it's an American made product. It's an American company. I always like to support that when I can. Um, so to me, it's a no-brainer. Um, I don't know if any of y'all out there have ever tried the Darn Tough Vermonts. If not, you definitely need to get your hands on a pair and take them for a spin. Let me know what you think down in the comments section. Um, that's really all. Uh, this is going to be a short review on the socks. Again, guys, I love them. I can't find a better pair of socks out there. Um, let's see, there was something else. I know there was. Oh, yeah. Just for the sake of doing it, at the end of this video here, I'm going to run a bunch of pictures of different types and prices and names, of course, of the uh, Darn Tough Vermont socks that they have out there. And the other thing, <clears throat> I'm only going to be running um, hiking and trekking socks. And just so you guys know, they also have running socks, a whole line of them, biking socks, ski and snowboarding socks, hunting socks, gym socks, uh, work socks. So I'm assuming they do some kind of a dress and also some kind of a work construction boot style line. I haven't actually looked at a lot of those other lines myself, uh, but it's good info for you guys to have. So with that, guys, I'm going to run some of these um, pictures here on the end. Um, that'll do it for this episode. Be safe and adventure on, guys.